I mean, they say that this is a very skillful means for helping their disciples, and it's a display of their higher wisdom, which cannot be understood by those of lesser attainment. <laughs> <laughs> right, what are we to think of this, right? Um, in fact, His Holiness once um, uh, met a, a nun, a Western nun, who, sorry, His Holiness once met a Western nun who insisted that uh, she should be given the third empowerment. Uh, she means is this something <laughs> something not the ordinary is it the right. third initiation? <laughs> Let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, now it is literally you just correct what you said, it's legal. So if you were to take <clears throat> sorry, if you were to take the um, the meaning of the empowerment text. Literally, the third empowerment literally, uh, literally <laughs> never involves a sexual right. act. Mm. Right. 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 Um, because of this need to, um, to, to actually engage in the sexual act when giving the third empowerment ceremony, if we were to take it literally, um, second and third, second and third, uh, what is that, what is it, uh, yeah, I mean, the, mm -hmm. the second mainly is the involved by Lama uh, DJ himself or herself, then third mainly is the yeah, uh, mm -hmm. Therefore, the Bodhisattva Paradigma uh, in that text, Atisha. Um, um, states that uh, if the practitioner is one uh, who has uh, vows of ordinary vows, be it pure opportunity, then that person uh, cannot take second and third empowerments. Mm -hmm. And we, um, the Tibetan tradition, the custom is to uh, interpret that to mean that uh, if the practitioner is a bhikshu or bhikshuni, that the interpreter of mm -hmm. the meaning is the meaning. The meaning of that statement is understood that in terms of um, uh, um, stating that if the practitioner is a, a person with fully full ordination, like Pishu or Pishuni, then uh, that, that person no, cannot uh, uh, either receive or um, um, confer the second and third empowerments uh, in actuality. Mm. Now here, now actually, you see the the practice of let's say sex, sexual sexual thing is uh, the allowed only those people who have deep kasoda inside uh, deep inside or deep kasoda. I don't know whether it's a crazy wisdom or not. Some 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 somehow you see the proper wisdom. <laughs> and so, so that, you see, to them, you see, the, uh, you know, alcohol and urine and what you call the other thing, come from here, what you call it? Oh, this and the human flesh, because of human, human flesh, right? yeah. human flesh, animal flesh, yeah. same. same. He enjoy, he or she enjoy stool, right, stool, right, stool, you see, urine, just like a alcohol. Or oh, such person allowed to conduct these things. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm quite afraid, right? I think these, these teachers, I think in, 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 in their mouth, if we put some urine, yeah. Yeah. I, I think they will, en they will not enjoy. Like <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's right at the river. Then, then also you see, they, I mean, 
the sexual or sex abuse. They actually, in the, in the Tantriyana, they say they, the practice of sexual is, they simply utilize these two organs, not normal way. You see, they fully control all the, because of the energy, the flow. You see, fully control, never allowed. Emission. 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 So that, that's the proper way. So such, you see, they apparently, you see, use the different sex organs, but actually still monk. Is proposing for any guru purporting to do crazy wisdom a taste test. Test Taste in taste But that's not very uh, reliable because it's one loophole because the person can take uh, drugs. And then, <laughs> or drugs or some, some, something. <laughs> and then later. <laughs> taste, of, taste. of course, with these things, that's why I think they, they you see, the text say, you see, said, you see, even necessary, you see, 12 years, right, you, you must examine you see, your teacher before actually you see, the teaching received. Oh, if necessary, it's 12 years. So that's me. That should have so I often, you see, telling you see, some of my you see, the, so the Western friends, Buddhist friends, you, see, you should spy on your, so that, suppose, so that, so that, teacher uh, uh, A person whom you are maybe considering of future, you see, as a teacher. The candidate of your future so the teacher, on him or on her, you must spy. <laughs> uh, until, you see, you're fully satisfied. That's the way. Case that I discover after I have chosen a teacher, after careful consideration. Mm. Yeah? If I later on find out mm. that he is having uh, sexual contact to his students, misusing his power, is that a sufficient reason to say, sorry, I won't go on with having this relationship with you anymore? If I only find out later. Now, this is the problem now. <laughs> <laughs> now, as a Buddhist, mm. As a Buddhist who, who practiced Tantriyana, now I can only say is before receiving, te sorry, receiving teaching with motivation or with so, consider as your teacher, before that, uh, is it no problem. You receive teaching and then saw something, some, something wrong, then so, no more respect. But I feel all right. Should be. Then, the once you received, teaching uh, with you see, the realization or recognition as a, your guru, and particularly some, you see, the tantric teaching received. After that, when you saw some, some problem there, then uh, it is very, very difficult is it, to, uh, sorry, to, to develop disrespect towards that person. Then best thing, uh, meantime, there is no need to, uh, to keep Kasoda. Uh, receiving teaching or something, you can just dist distance, oh, just, uh, ignore. just ignore. Mm -hmm. mm. Not showing disrespect, mm -hmm. but simply, you see, close yeah. on that side. Yeah. Remain something like neutral. Mm -hmm. that, that's, the pro that's the only way. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and if we advise other students to follow that course of action and remain neutral, are we accumulating the negative karma of causing a separation between a student and their teacher? individual case come to That if you clearly see is it that danger, that advice should be more distance. Say like that. So no problem. If you see, you see, no problem that sorry, that student. Then no need to sorry, to to create this problem. Michelle, simple. Alright.
Tak student korak, lama mau korak tidak kenyang. Kau susu bayi na, kan aku tahu kenyang tak? Tahu siapa? Jadi kenyang kau memang sih, kau susu siapa sahaja. It depends upon the individual cases. For instance, that uh, if this particular incident um, is uh, has potential of damaging the student's spiritual path, uh, such as causing the loss of faith and dharma and so forth, then of course the best course is to advise that um, suggest that person to keep a respectable distance. Or in other cases, it is possible that such incidents does not really cause much uh, damage. The, the students' uh, practice or spiritual path. In that case, then one would have to respond differently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.